Hey you guys, it's Carolyn from Homesteading Family. And you know, cooking in cast iron is a wonderful thing, but cooking scrambled eggs in cast iron has the reputation of being one of the hardest things to cook without making it stick and making a mess of your pan. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how to cook scrambled eggs in your cast iron pans so that you don't make a mess of your pans and you get beautiful, delicious eggs. All right, now the first step to properly cooking eggs or anything in a good cast iron pan is to make sure that your seasoning is correct on your cast iron. If you've been following you along, you know we've been doing a series on how to strip, season, and maintain your cast iron. So I really recommend you go back and check out those videos if you haven't done that. This one here is the um, lodge video, the lodge cast iron that we did on the stripping and seasoning video. It is all ready to go. This is about a 10 inch pan. And this is the old Wagner that we did on that same video. And it is also ready to go. But today I am going to be using my stargazer pan that we also seasoned in that. I just love this pan. And one of the things that people get really wrong about cooking eggs in a cast iron is the amount of eggs that they try to cook for the size of the cast iron pan. You have to have the right ratio to have them turn out correctly. Otherwise, you'll end up with sticking eggs that are burning and making a mess of everything. So today we're gonna go with this larger 12 inch cast iron pan. Now, the first step to any cooking project with cast iron, this is so incredibly important, is you need to preheat this pan without any added oils. So my seasoning is good on this, and I'm just gonna put this on the stove and I'm gonna get it heating on medium heat and we're gonna let it heat for at least 10 minutes. All right, while that pan is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and get our eggs ready. Now, when you're using something like a 12 inch pan, we're gonna to wanna to use one egg per inch of pan or less when we're making scrambled eggs. That means we're gonna use about 12 eggs in this pan or less. If we were using our 10 inch pans, we wouldn't wanna use any more than 10 eggs in that pan, maybe even less. And same on down or up if you have a larger pan. So we're gonna go ahead and do about 11 eggs for this pan. These are our fresh, fresh homegrown eggs. We're getting about 50 eggs a day right now. You can just see how beautifully yellow those yolks are. Ooh, look at this one. I bet you this one's a double yoker. This is a big guy. Oh, yep, there we go. Those always feel like treasure when you find those. Okay, now one of the things that a lot of people do is they put in a milk or a uh, cream, which can make your eggs really, really tasty. But if you like your eggs light and fluffy, the best way to go is with a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna put a few tablespoons of water in there. Okay, there we go. So just a quick little dash of some cold water. And then of course we wanna season those eggs right off. So a little bit of good quality salt and some pepper. And that's all, that pan is still back there heating. So it should be getting nice and warm right now. And we're just going to completely beat these eggs. I just like a good old fashioned fork for doing this. Until they take on a kind of nice light color. That means we're really incorporating in a lot of air and we're getting them very well mixed so that it's very uniform. Oh, 
Okay, now we're starting to look pretty good right there. Now, what I have here is butter. This is the very last of our homemade butter for the year. The cow has been dry for a few months now, but she should have a new calf within the next few days, and then we'll be right back into the butter. So you're going to want to put a little bit of fat in your pan for about these 11 eggs. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. It doesn't have to be butter. It could be a good home rendered lard. It could be an oil if that's what you prefer to cook with. That would be just fine. But you know, there's kind of a misnomer out there that cast iron pans are completely nonstick. They aren't completely nonstick. They're very close, but you're not gonna get that Teflon-like you know, uh, coating where you don't need to add any oils or any fats, and that's fine. Teflon's not good for you, but butter is. So let's go ahead and stick with our little bits of healthy fat. So our pan has been heating, and it is just starting to smoke, so we know we're getting right to where we need to be. Okay, we're gonna come on over to the pan and get some butter in there. All right, now that this pan is hot, we are gonna go ahead and add this butter in. You can see it's smoking right off. That's just what we want. That brown butter is gonna give these eggs a little bit of flavor, and that's great. And as soon as this butter is all melted, we're gonna get our eggs right into that hot, hot pan. Now immediately, we're gonna turn that pan down to low. And we're gonna let those eggs cook for about 30 seconds so that they're very well set. This is gonna go really, really quickly. So be ready for it when it's time. Okay, I'm gonna say that these are real well set around the edges, so I'm gonna go for it here. I just have my spatula, and we're just gonna give it a real nice stir. Now that brown that you're seeing on the bottom is from that browned butter, which is just delicious. And then we're gonna stir just constantly. This is only gonna take a few seconds. This is a really quick project. Scraping the edges all the way around and being particularly aware of any hot spots on the pan, which is any spot that's gonna be right over your direct heat flames. Okay, now we have our eggs completely set, but they're still a little wet, so it's time right now to turn the heat all the way off on your pan, but keep stirring. Don't stop stirring, because that pan is still hot. Remember, cast iron holds that heat really well. And so it's still cooking. Okay, so the last important thing that we wanna do is transfer these eggs right out of this cast iron and onto a serving dish. You don't want your eggs to sit and cool in your cast iron. A lot of people see that dark color that comes on their eggs um, from their cast iron pans. And you know, that comes from two things. That comes from not having your seasoning hardened enough on your pan, you need to finish off your seasoning. But it also comes from letting your eggs sit too long in a pan. Now I want you to see this pan when we're done. There is not going to be any scrubbing at all on this. It is completely clean. <laughs> there we go. And just needs a quick wash. If you wanna know how to wash your pans to maintain them correctly, go over and check out that video on how to wash and maintain your cast iron pans. But look at these eggs that took almost no time at all. You have uh, a no scrub pan left. You have delicious eggs and you're ready to go. Thanks for joining me guys.